Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a uh, kind of a different thing from what I've been doing and this is a, a retro unboxing of the only thing that I happen to have in box and that is the uh, Commodore VIC-20 so uh, have a look at this guys. Me and my exposure is going to hell but uh, sorry about that I am using a fucking phone camera there's not much I can do. Uh, so you know here's just the box you know this here's just how it looks there's a little bit of fucking nasty shit right there. I don't know what that is, but it was there and I had to scrape a bunch of shit off and I got it looking at least as presentable as possible. It's really unfortunate that that had to happen, but it did. Um, yeah, um, just a little bit of a tour around of the box here and my unbelievably, like, inhumanly skinny arms. Um, uh, here, uh, there's just like a little bit of an advertisement spot, spot for the Vic modem. Um, I believe that connects you Actually, I think it connects you to um, some form of very early internet. I wouldn't know. Um, I don't know. Um, some sort of pre-internet internet, internet sort of thing like ARPANET or some shit. Um, there's back of the box. Just typical stuff. And then under here, oh, you have all of your... Um, you know, like all the stuff that it can do. Uh, different applications, different games. Uh, you got... Um, Arcade game excitement, student education, financial planning, personal improvement, just all that kind of stuff. Um, this was the first um, mass-produced uh, and heavily bought um, PC, I believe, um, on the PC market. You know, the, this was, uh, what, 1981. I, I believe this is one of the most, um, it was, definitely wasn't the, most, uh, the first mass-produced, um, but it definitely was the... Um, I believe first to reach a million sales, if I'm not wrong. Um, I don't know too much history on this thing. I just know that I own one. So uh, let's get into opening the box here. Just, just a little flap. And there's the machine right there. Um, you can see it's sort of in this little foam. Uh, this box is just a little accessory box with nothing in it because I took all of it out. Um, it's elsewhere. Um, so just take this out of here. Get the foam out of there. And there is your unit. Um, it looks like this is subject to some uh, bromine-related yellowing um, because there is there are yellow patches on there. I don't know if you can see that with the camera, but um, it is otherwise in fantastic shape, and it works a dream. So I rarely take it out of the box because I want it to stay in good condition um, because this is really in excellent condition if you can get past the uh, yellowing. Um, here's a side panel with the, um, you know, uh, the mains. Uh, this is where you can hook up a controller, and yes, a Genesis controller or a Mega Drive controller can go in here, and it will work. Um, I haven't tried uh, an Atari 26 joy uh, 2600 joystick yet, but I am very soon to do that. Um, just on and off switch, it's a very sturdy switch. This is a very sturdy feeling unit in general. I mean, it's... This thing could probably take a tank blast, so... You know, there's that. Ugh. In here, I still have the, um... Original documentation, and... Looks like someone went over this in the factory and stuff like that. So, um... This right here is amusing. Um, how to get more out of your Commodore computer. And then I can... <laughs> I wonder what happened if I tried to send this in. Presumably, absolutely nothing, but... Um... It's in fantastic shape, so I'm, I've kept it in here. Um, this right here, a real computer for the price of a toy, because um, that was this PC's main selling point. It was a very inexpensive computer for the time. I don't know what it retailed for, but I do know that it was very inexpensive for the time. Um, <laughs> particularly expensive toy. Um, and this just shows you all kinds of stuff, you know, what you can get for the... Um, for the system or the PC, um, sort of a big ass thing, and it's hard to show all of it. But um, uh, with this, you could of course get you know your standard tape decks and uh, all of that stuff. So I don't have any of those accessories because they are like increasingly hard to find. Um, I do plan on finding you know hunting stuff like that down. So I mean, with this being a pretty you know pretty heavily mass produced um, system, you'd think you'd be able to at least find something. So. I'll see what I can do. I am going to take this thing apart, though, um, 
because it really does have some yelling problems. You might be able to see that it's pretty abstract from the bottom piece here that presumably doesn't have any bromine on it. So this right here, oh, this is a warranty regist registration. Oh boy. <laughs> and then just this little thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's cables and stuff in there, so I just thought I'd post this because I have it, so have a good one.